everybody. Welcome back. This is Steve. I am your benevolent Sherpa offering you free gondola rides up to the summit of wisdom and knowledge on Mount Free Sky. Today we are going to talk about probably one of the most exciting and beneficial aspects, probably the most underrated feature of ethos altogether, and that is flight modes. And um, this is something that is very useful, but first you kind of have to wrap your mind around it. And I'm going to give you a practical example of something that would come up in the real world. And here's a problem. I mean, I'm going to show you one solution that isn't so good and a better solution, which would be flight modes. So what we're looking at right here is the beautiful uh, mall. This is a 1.5 millimeter um, high wing uh, it's kind of like a S short takeoff and landing plane, similar to a Tundra. Um, beautiful plane, and it flies well, it lands great in grass. It's a very popular plane. Uh, it has a wide envelope as far as acceptable batteries. It goes from 22 to 3200 milliamps in 3S to 4S. Let's just say that your battery choice for this plane is a 4S 2600 milliamp battery. But every once in a while you find yourself with a 2200 milliamp battery or a 3000 milliamp battery and the problem with this is that when you put those other batteries in all your trim settings are blown away because you have to retrim it for each battery and after a while it gets really annoying so what you'd come up with was the idea of hey why don't we this is real simple. This is brilliant. Why don't I just make a directory called mall? I'm going to set up three different profiles. Well, actually, there's there are three different models. So I'll set up a model for 2200 milliamp. I go into this model and set everything up. I get all my trim set up, get it flying the way I want to. And then whenever I get a 2200 milliamp battery, it's going to work perfectly because everything will be for all the trims are remembered and everything's saved and everything's remembered but when i go to the 2600 milliamp battery i do the same thing i get it all trimmed and set up and everything works perfectly and go to the 3000 milliamp battery you know you get the drill um anyway what happens is every single time you switch a model you have to rebind your receiver and then you call me up and ask how do i just save my receiver settings for all three models and I say I could do you one better. We're going to do something called flight modes. So we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to get you out of this altogether. Here's the main screen. Go into the airplane icon right there and go into flight modes. I set up three flight modes and you can see it's essentially the same thing. Flight mode one is that 3000 milliamp pack. Flight mode two is the 2600 milliamp pack and flight mode three is the 2200 milliamp pack. And this is the important thing right here. We only set the switch um, positions once, and that's in flight modes. Um, and the interesting thing about flight modes is that they are almost underwhelming. I mean, all you see right here is uh, a name and a switch position. And this fade in and fade out is how soon the flight modes are activated, so you can make them... Uh, the, the time before they really get fully engaged can be you know, spread out over a matter of seconds. But the most useful thing is trim. So this is the whole idea in the first place why I wanted to set up the separate models so you can save the trim settings. How do you do that with flight modes? Well, there's just one other section you have to go to. You have to go into here and you have to do it for the aileron, elevator, and rudder. Um, if you go in here and make sure on each of those surfaces that independent trim per flight mode is turned on. And once you do that, you are golden. You go back into flight modes and as you change these all these different positions like the rudder or elevator as far as trim is concerned, it will remember it. And then when you go to the next flight mode, it will forget this one or remember what was saved in that flight mode. So so far so good um, but as I told you before the switch positions are set with the um, as the active condition in flight modes and from this point out whenever we want to work with something like ailerons setting up dual rates instead of pointing to switches we point to the flight mode so 
Flight mode one, which was the 3000 milliamp, is set up there. Flight mode two, flight mode three. Now, as I move the switch around on this particular flight mode, mode two, mode one, you can mode hear two, I, I even have three. a voice set up. Okay. Um, you can see it light up. And so the curves for the expo are set up and the rates are set up. Um, and then what I also did is I set up. This is something different. So this is a mix that I found, the aileron rudder mix. I found it in this section right here. Hit the plus, you find it, aileron rudder right there. I put one there, long press on it. I can get into edit. It has a name, it has a weight associated. You can set up curves. I've never done curves on this. I just use the rates um, or weights. And as you can see, it's 15%. So that means whenever I, let's say I bank the plane to the left, the rudder will go out 15% maximum travel, and that helps prevent adverse yaw, so it gives smoother turns. Now, the smaller the battery, the more uh, that elevator uh, rudder needs to be moved, so you'll see on this one, I moved that one to 27%. And so for flight mode one, turn back here if I go to if I go to mode two you can see the mode lights one. so mode one uh, which the 3000 milliamp battery has nothing mode light up two. mode two lights up that's the 2600 milliamp battery mode three, mode three was the 2200 milliamp battery all right so so far, so good. The last thing I want to show you is that I also set up voices. And to find those are on the second page. I can page down to it right there under special functions. Mode the, two, mode one. See it. Again, I'm pointing out right here. I'm not pointing to switches. I'm pointing to flight modes. Flight modes point to switches. And that's pretty much it. And what happens here is you can really tune your plane to um, behave well whenever you have a different battery you want to put in. If you want to put in uh, a 3000 milliamp battery after flying a 2200 milliamp battery, you don't have to go back and retrim everything because that when you trimmed it the first time, it will be remembered. And that should do it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My name is Steve. I could be reached at steve at frskynegativerc.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.